Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond. I'm a comic artist and illustrator. Today, we're gonna learn about using blending modes to color your comics. But hey, this is Quick Tips. Let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Coloring comics can be pretty confusing. There's so much color theory you have to take into account. On top of everything like shadows and highlights and atmospheric perspective, it's kind of a mess. So how do you take some flats and turn them into rendered colors? The secret is using blending modes. You can change the blending mode of a layer here in the layer palette. Newly created layers are set to a normal blending mode at 100% opacity, and that's great for flat colors. But if you were going to say, try to draw some shadows, it might be tough to pick colors that will look consistently darker across the flats that you've chosen, which could give a weird uneven look. So instead of doing that, we're gonna make a new layer by hitting the new layer icon and then set that layer to multiply and 30%. Now I'm going to choose a dark purple color to brush in some shadows. I'll use my flats layer as a reference for making selections as well. Coloring this way will help keep my shadows even along all the colors of my character. The multiply layer style will darken the colors evenly as opposed to a normal layer, which will just show that color. I can do the same thing with highlights by making a new layer and setting it to screen, also at 30%. Screen layers lighten the layers below them, so they're perfect for highlights. If you want to create a moody piece, you can even use the color layer style to push all the colors towards a certain color, adjusting the opacity of that layer to soften the effect. Layer styles like Add Glow and Color Dodge are great for those final highlights in a piece. Play around with all the layer styles and figure out which ones work best for you. All right, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to get more great Clip Studio Paint quick tips. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and make some great comics.